So two days ago, I asked you to start writing a story. And my story was about a unicorn and a rainbow. And I didn't even have to use any words because I used my picture to show what my story was going to be about. So today I want you to think about that story. Hmm, have you ever read a book that just had a cover? No, books have pages and pictures and they make you wanna read more. And some books don't have words and that's okay. So today, when you have your cover, I want you to think about what else might happen in your story. So on my cover, it shows that it's a unicorn with a rainbow. But maybe when I open my book, you'll find out that that unicorn has a friend. So I'm going to go ahead and open my book up so I can see the inside. And I'm gonna draw another picture that's going to add to my story. Well, I know I have a unicorn and a rainbow, but now I'm going to have, my unicorn has a friend who is a, hmm, who should my unicorn's friend be? It's going to be a bunny rabbit. So I have my unicorn. I'm going to just sketch my picture. Here's my unicorn with this fluffy tail. Here he is. Here's the rainbow. And you know what else my unicorn has? He has a bunny rabbit friend. So I'm gonna draw his bunny rabbit friend right here. I know a bunny rabbit's gonna have two ears, a head. Look at my little bunny rabbit. He's got a fluffy tail, some hands, and here's my bunny. So now I can see something else that's happening in my story. You can color this picture too, but what we're gonna do is next week, we're gonna really, really talk about how to hold your crayons, how to color your pictures the very, very best that you can. So for now, I want you to just think about what's happening in your story. So right now, I already have a cover. I know my story is gonna be about a unicorn and a rainbow. And now I have a picture that shows my unicorn has a friend. So I want you to think about that today. I want you to keep adding and drawing and thinking about what kind of a story you could write. 